with over a decade of experience in the industry. Carla Spate has built her agency protecting the reputation of celebrities to ensure her top clients gain coverage, as the PR expert admittedly wouldn't mind having Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on her roster. Carla Spate has gone from taking her teenage hobby of attending music gigs and comedy shows to building her agency from the ground up as she launched a successful career in public relations and is the CEO of Carla Spate Co. The businesswoman has regularly given her expert opinion on crisis communications to reputation development and in recent months she has covered public scandals from Philip Schofield to the royal saga with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Speaking about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Carla mused. I think it would be absolutely fascinating to work with them. I don't think they're too far gone. I just think Harry's been given a sense of freedom and let loose. He's not had the right advice around him but, Harry and Meghan, are not too far gone. Look at the reaction to Invictus. That was a real turning point for him. It showed him in the same light as his mother. It reminded people of who he is at the heart of all this chaos. That's incredibly powerful. Does she believe she could help with the Sussexes rebranding following their move to California? She commented. I wish I could have some time with them. Stop the books. Stop the interviews. And just say, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? Carla admitted her rise in business was not always straightforward but was able to turn her passion as a freelance photographer to working with clients on podcasts and in business, comedy and music. I come from a very working class background where even at school, to work in TV or a newspaper, we were always told to go and get yourself a proper job. It was never instilled in me at school that it was ever attainable, she explained. Despite this, Carla was not deterred from building her own talent agency having started her career as a photographer where she would take photos of acts including the likes of Green Day in exchange for a concert ticket. 